Hello guys, this is Jacko from Muddy Tag Rat Doors, and today um, I'm going to be showing you and talking about the Carrymore SF45 um, rucksack. And this is um, a very, very, uh, so far, a very impressive rucksack. I've had the opportunity to have this for a couple of months now, and I've taken it to many trips, hiking trips, I've uh, camped, I've uh, just walked about, I've tested it in uh, different weather, different condition, with different kind of gear loaded out. And so far, it's turning out to be, I would say, a pretty, pretty good uh, rucksack. Now, just to kind of give you a quick intro of what uh, Carrie Moore says about this backpack is, um, it's basically described as a must-have in military circles. The Sabre 45 offers the user a reliable and durable load carriage si uh, system. The removable F-format internal uh, frame can be shaped to form to the back profile of the user and I've actually tested this out and it's definitely very very comfortable uh, around the back even with 30 plus pounds of gear um, and then um, it, it's also compatible with the uh, PLCE um, British uh, carrying uh, system um, and it's got the side pockets available uh, hydration systems and a, and a number of different things now uh, just to kind of give you um, uh, a quick idea of what this backpack is all about. This backpack is basically designed for the Special Forces. That's, that's where the SF uh, comes from. Uh, British uh, Special Forces. This is a British backpack. British uh, made and designed. Um, so um, definitely a very high quality piece of uh, gear. Um, I've basically uh, drugged this on the ground a few times. I've walked around very thick brush, uh, um, you know, with branches just scraping uh, the heck out of it and it's not shown any signs of wear and tear at all I mean I've put it through its paces and so far it's uh, it still looks like new so that is definitely very impressive the material it's uh, very very uh, durable it's made with uh, KS 100 E um, which is basically 1000 1, near nylon it's lightly coated with a type of silicone that makes it basically water resistant so um, I've had this in a uh, uh, damp. I haven't had this in the rain, but I've had it in uh, damp conditions, and it's basically sat overnight while camping. So definitely, it had a good amount of uh, uh, morning dew uh, collected on it, and it didn't go inside of the bag. There's uh, a, almost it feels like a uh, very thin layer of uh, plastified material on the inside. So um, you can rest assured that your gear is not going to get wet, um, you know, with light moisture or light dew conditions. So uh, very very um, well built. Now. Another plus of the uh, uh, Carrymore uh, rucksack, um, I'm, I'm really uh, a big fan of these buckles. You know, it's, it's very easy to just unbuckle uh, and uh, adjust. And, um, you know, you just pull them very easy and then you just pull them out to uh, make them a little bit uh, longer. And um, these are actually very, very convenient. These little clips, and they have them basically in every adjusting strap. So what these are, once you get it adjusted to where you need to um, adjust it, you just basically slide this down and it keeps the excess uh, strap from flapping around, which is very nice. You don't get tangled around, you don't get um, the straps caught in uh, anywhere else. Um, in the front of the back you see there's uh, this uh, little attachment system which comes with two uh, bungees and basically what I keep here is my um, SE Hoonglass knife. It's, it's a knife and it covers pretty much from here to here and strapping it right on to uh, the pack with these uh, it's actually very very secure it's not going anywhere I've walked or hiked uh, several miles and miles in different occasions and the thing doesn't fall off it's very very uh, secure held together now they offer this pack in different colors uh, this is the uh, olive green they offer it in coyote uh, tan they offer it in uh, uh, camo pattern and they also offer it in black but this is definitely their uh, best seller because it's the most, uh, uh, the most popular color. Now, um, on the top of the bag, or the hood of the bag, there's this little um, cinching system. So, you know, it's just an elastic piece of cord. You pull it tight, and whatever you put in here, uh, it's definitely uh, held uh, together securely. Um, what I usually carry up here is if I have an extra uh, sweater or an extra outer layer of uh, insulation. If I'm getting too hot, then I take it off and I just strap it here, and it's definitely not going anywhere. 
All right, now we take a look at the side of the bag. Um, this bag is a 45 liter bag inside and it can be made to uh, be smaller or more compressed or expand to its uh, 45 liter uh, full capacity. Now, right now I have it stuffed with pillows so it's a lot easier to pick up and not as heavy with my uh, gear. But uh, once again, the straps, I mean, very easy to expand. So you can see it definitely expands quite a bit. You can fit a lot of gear there. And I'm gonna make a separate video of all the stuff that I put in here for different loadouts, for a day hike, uh, for a, a multi-night trip, for a hiking trip, for a lightweight trip. Um, this is definitely a very versatile, very multi-use um, uh, rucksack. So, you know, um, I've actually used this for, you know, if I'm going out to the woods for, let's say, a couple hours and just do, you know, maybe three or four miles of hiking, relaxed hiking, I can actually turn this into a very small day pack, and that's by compressing all the straps it gets very nice and small and it's very very comfortable now this is actually my favorite part of the rucksack the straps um, I don't, I'm not even sure if the camera is gonna pick it up but the straps are very very well padded on the inside or the uh, part that touches your body there's this little mesh material and it's the same uh, mesh material as it is right here on the uh, on the back support of the backpack. Now these little channels right here, they're kind of designed to let the air and let the um, uh, wind come in your back. If your back is getting kind of sweaty, then allows uh, some of the moisture to dry off or evaporate. So that's definitely convenient. And the lumbar support right here, it's actually pretty well padded. You know, I'm not a, a guy that has a lot of fluff around the, uh, the midsection. So uh, back here, that's something that if a backpack doesn't have enough uh, padding at the back well it's definitely gonna be uncomfortable you you'll feel it in this one I just don't feel it I don't feel any uncomfortable I don't feel any pressure spots any hot spots anything that I know it's gonna cause uh, pain or, or a sore spot in the long, in the long run so definitely uh, very well padded um, it has all kinds of adjustment straps it has some right here to bring up the back uh, the pack a little higher it has obviously your uh, sternum strap which is fully adjustable from here from here in from the middle so that's very convenient it also has the um, strap adjustments to make them shorter or longer and of course the belt the um, waist uh, waist belt it's very very well padded right here it's very flexible too so you don't feel like it's you know like some of those uh, very stiff um, belts out there that can be uh, sometimes a little bit uh, cumbersome or uncomfortable to wear um, the belt is once again very very comfortable um, it has these awesome and very, very strong uh, uh, straps. You can adjust it, you know, as, as comfortable as you need to or as loose as you need to. Uh, the buckles are very, very resistant with a nice uh, British flag uh, slash caramel logo here. And, um, of course, if you don't want these to dangle uh, right in front of you, they have these little elastic straps that you can actually um, tug these into on either side. So they're just kind of out of the way if that's something that bothers you. So I think that uh, shows that Carry More pays a lot of attention to detail as far as their uh, construction and their options. Now, uh, on either side of the belt right here, uh, you have a couple of loops. And these are very, very strong uh, rope loops. And uh, you can attach a number of different things uh, to these loops. And on this side, I just kind of have uh, a buckle here that attaches to another piece of my gear. And on the other side, I have this uh, condor, um, basically a dump pouch, and I like to collect uh, tinder and a lot of different things that I find in the trail that I want to keep. I just kind of uh, undo the Velcro on this and I just put it in there. That's just one of many options uh, for things that you can uh, put on there. So very, very comf comfortable uh, and fully adjustable straps there. And along here, along the other side, you can see the other side of the straps. You can adjust these. now. Um, when I was actually researching these uh, backpacks, I was noticing uh, these little buckles that uh, are here on this side and also on the bottom. And these are for the um, optional um, rocket pouches. And these are available in uh, the same colors as, as a pouch. And that's basically to expand them and, and um, um, you know, make them, I guess, a higher capacity uh, for carrying stuff. But I'll show you those later. Now, what I want to show you here is when you open up the, the rucksack, um, you have this strap right here, and this is a very long strap. It can be fully adjustable, so you can put something on top of the bag once you close it up, 
and strap it down or just to keep everything nice and secure when we undo that buckle you'll find a cinch cord right here that basically closes the mouth and this is uh, a different material this is basically just uh, nylon but it's definitely waterproof you can cinch it very tight and your things um, your gear is going to stay nice and secure and uh, relatively um, you know safe from water uh, but the interesting thing is that you also have another cinch cord right here for the outer mouth of the um, big compartment so again if you want to get it even uh, tighter make sure that everything's uh, you know more than 100 percent secure you can do so or like me i just kind of keep it nice and open and i use this as my main uh, closure for that uh, big compartment um, now inside of here i just kind of have a few pillows just to make the uh, bag nice and fluffy give the impression that it's full with gear now one cool thing about the uh, the lid or the hood of the uh, bag the outer rim of the lid it's actually um, stretchy so you know if you have a lot of gear up here and i've done this before you can just kind of stretch it out on the uh, uh, perimeter and make it nice and snug and it still looks uh, fine so stretchy there and um, let me turn the bag aside and you have a pocket here a mesh pocket and that is very useful I keep a number of uh, uh, easy access things here um, it's actually a, a quite large bag there you can put uh, cell phone keys a uh, bunch of things that you want uh, easy access to and then on the top of the back of the hood here the camera will pick it up and you have here a big zipper with an even larger uh, uh, pouch and basically the pouch or the pocket is as big as the top of the uh, lid so once again I just keep a number of um, easier access uh, or things that I want to access to fast while on the trail. The zippers are very durable. They're all YKK zippers. So very easy to open, very easy to close. They don't get stuck or anything like that. And the nice thing about having two zippers is that you can move them so you can open them from this side or you can open them from this side. So excellent feature there. Now on the bottom of the uh, rucksack you have two loops basically so you can attach um, anything from uh, axes, knives, ice picks, you can actually loop through um, and attach your uh, sleeping bag if you carry it on the outside, a sleeping uh, mattress, inflatable mattress, um, insulation pad, whatever you want to carry out here in a roll or, or even a tarp. Uh, just roll it up and attach it here and these are fully adjustable as well. So all in all, um, I think this is a very, very uh, good uh, virginal pack. Uh, I don't think I have anything negative uh, uh, to say about the pack, so I'm very happy with this. Now, when you purchase the bag, it just, you know, it comes like this. You know, this is definitely more uh, than you need. You know, if you carry uh, enough gear and if you know how to carry it, and if it's lightweight gear, 45 liters is definitely plenty of space uh, for your gear. Well, let me show you the optional um, uh, side pouches or rocket pouches which I did purchase because um, what they do is they basically give you the ability to carry um, 12 and a half liters each so that's 25 extra liters of uh, stuff so in total 45 plus 25 gives you a capacity of 70 liters uh, that you can carry they're made out of the same material they have the zipper right here or the opposite side of the zipper right here and then the buckle so these are extremely easy to attach. All you have to do is undo the buckles right here on the side. Open the lid. Add one zipper. Other zipper and then for extra uh, secure you just do the buckles here it has two buckles two on the top and two in the uh, bottom making it a total of four buckles so it's very nice and secure and there we go and then we expand the straps all the way out. Just 
feed them through those loops. There's one. There's two. So once you get this full of stuff, which right now I don't have anything to fill it up with, um, it gives you a lot more room to carry your stuff in. And of course, there's one for the other side. When you purchase these extra uh, rocket pouches, they actually come in a pair. So um, you know, you get one on each side. They hold nice and secure. They look like they are, um, you know, part of the bag. They're attached very securely uh, with three uh, different methods zipper, buckles, and then straps, so they're not going to come off at all. What I keep here in these patches, typically if I want to go for a multi-day uh, trip or just a simple overnighter, you can carry extra water here, you can carry extra food, you can carry your uh, extra blanket if you need to, maybe an extra pillow, or just whatever you can fit in there. There's no limit for the options. So there you go, this is what it looks like when it's on. Very, very comfortable. It's very easy to wear. These are, once again, fully adjustable. With the sternum strap, you can bring them in closer uh, to the center of your chest or outer to the uh, uh, outer edges of your shoulders. So very comfortable wear. And I haven't found any hot spots or anything that would make me uncomfortable. And I've used this for a long time. So if you're interested to see this pack uh, being used, me taking it out for uh, hiking trips or uh, backpacking trips, uh, camping trips, uh, go and look at, at some of the other videos that I have in my channel. You'll definitely see me use it and talk a little bit more about the bag. So there you go guys, I hope you found this video useful. Um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely very happy with this uh, uh, rucksack. Um, I, would, I would, without a doubt, take this anywhere and put anything in here and you know, I could stay out for months and I would definitely uh, have no doubt that this bag would uh, perform uh, like it was designed to perform. Once again, this was basically designed with the uh, uh, British uh, Special Forces in mind, you know, making a bag very rugged, very durable, very resistant, and even wa uh, water uh, repellent or water resistant. So, uh, excellent bag. If you're thinking about purchasing one of these, I would highly, highly encourage you to do it. And if you're one of those guys like me that would have or likes to have the availability of carrying extra gear, I would definitely purchase the available uh, rocket pouches. This makes a, a, a bag overall, you know, from 45 to 70 liters uh, of gear, and uh, that's definitely for me more than plenty. Now, I uh, got this bag from a, a, a really good company called uh, Great Ghost Gear, um, and they have a website, greatghostgear.com, and uh, they have these available in all the uh, different colors. They're basically the official distributor of uh, Carry More uh, for the United States because these are from uh, England, so. Um, if you live in the United States and are interested in one of these um, without having to ship it all the way from England, I would definitely visit um, greatghostgear.com and have, um, have them just you know, ship one to you. Uh, once again, they have them available, they have them in stock, and um, it's a, a, a great uh, overall purchase. Now, I've had a lot of different uh, rucksacks, backpacks you know, through the years, and I would consider this one by far my uh, favorite so far. Uh, this is uh, very well designed and what's most important for those of us that do a lot of hiking and, and uh, uh, walking out in the, in the woods, it's comfortable and that's, uh, that's a, a must. I think that's a must because if you're going to go you know, 10, 15, 5 miles and you're starting to feel uncomfortable, your shoulders are hurting, um, you start having pressure spots in your back, that's definitely not good. It makes the experience uh, not very enjoyable. but you know, by having a, a rucksack or a backpack that uh, it's comfortable for you, well, it makes the experience even better. So for sure, this would be my uh, recommended top choice for a rucksack. If you're wanting something that looks a little bit more military, uh, more subdued, uh, maybe camo collars, this is definitely the top choice. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helps you 
to make a better decision on uh, uh, purchasing. If you're you know thinking about getting one of these, the Caremore SF uh, Saber 45 liter backpack has been uh, a very good backpack to me. So I look forward to using it for many, many years to come. Well guys, like always, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like. Please leave a comment, check us on Facebook, Muddy Tiger Outdoors, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.